Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to make a little, little announcement, a little upcoming build video. Uh, traded for a boat a while back. I've been talking about the gigging boat. Figured I'd show you guys what it is, kind of what I wanted to do, and I want your thoughts in case anybody else has built one, which I've built several over the years, but never hurts to have a fresh outlook. Thought you guys might have a better opinion than me. So, show you what we got. Right here. I traded for this, actually I bought the boat and traded for the trailer, um, we all say that, back and forth, it was basically a trade. <laughs> um, I set this on top of the trailer here, this had no junky fiberglass V bottom which is gone, and it's a good little trailer, boat was junk, and this is a, it's a little bit narrower than I would like, yeah it's kind of a catch all right now. But it's a 1432. It's kind of narrow, but you know, the old thing's in real good shape. Other than the transom, which is kind of typical. But, I've got two little old brakes right here. Right there and right there, which ain't no big deal. I'm going to put all new lumber and stuff in this and get with a buddy that's got the machinery to weld aluminum. And have him weld this back after I get the wood put back in it. So... This will be a good little boat. It's nice and small. I like a 14 footer. I really like a 1442. Which, if you don't ain't familiar with boats, they measure them from corner to corner in the bottom. And I know that ain't no 36. Pretty sure it's a 32. It's a little bit narrow, but it will work. And eh, here it's paid for. I own it. <laughs> so that has a lot to do with influencing me wanting this boat. <laughs> I got a good deal on it, so. Oh, I lied to you. My bad. It is a Monarch. See if I can get that in there. Monarch, Monticello, Arkansas. But like I said, pretty solid little boat. But upcoming build. We're going to put a. What I normally do, we'll put a gigging rack on this, the platform, and the piping will come up little ways. You know, you build it to kind of fit you across the waistband there. And we'll put some LED lights, don't run generators no more. And put a 12 volt battery back there and run 12 volt LED lights. Uh, debating on some regular LED floodlights or the light bar. I had a light bar on my old boat, but a buddy just put his together and he's got some pretty good lights. It works pretty good. So might go that route on this because it's not really wide enough to put a good light bar on. So, eh, whatever. But that's going to be upcoming deal and for those of you that don't know what gigging is i'm down here in northeast oklahoma it's a pretty hot and heavy topic here a lot of people do it it's they even have a as the crow flies there's a big tournament once a year that's actually going on right now uh april the i don't know it's 9th 10th 11th something right in there but as the crow flies it's probably about four to five miles from my house huge gigging tournament but anyway you put lights on your boat you go out at night and you have a 14 foot pole with a we use three prong gig and you gig fish put them in a boat pretty quick way to get uh groceries and it's not you can't get game fish obviously you're not gonna go get a black bass because they'll put your butt underneath the jail and bury you but you know like sand bass and you can get carp, but eh, suckers. So, but anyway, stay tuned. You're going to see that. That's coming up because we've done that for years and we're getting ready to get back into it. Get this boat knocked out. We'll put the mud motor on it. And I'm probably going to do a custom, another mud motor build for this. I've got a 15 horse on a Troy built mower out there. I'm going to take off and put on a 9.8 Mercury lower, which is different than the other one I've built. Where I put the uh, 18 horse Briggs on a game fisher lower. Which is about the same difference, but pretty close, but a little different. But that's going to go on here. So 15 horse on 9 8 lower, because I have it. And I'll make a video of that too when we get to that. And you're also going to get to see, I'll probably do a little fish now, this in the little creeks. It'll be nice for that too. But you'll get to see that and the gigging and all that. So it's coming up. And leave a comment. Let me know if you actually want to see this boat build or you just want to see it done. I want your opinion. And I'll go through the process with you if you want me to. So, 
just kind of an update to let you know that as well as the fishing and all that on this channel, we'll also be doing gigging, and we'll be doing it heavy once this boat's done. So, this is kind of where we're at. I didn't get to get out and make a fishing video this week, and looks like it's going to storm all weekend, so I probably won't get one this weekend either. But, just kind of let you know where we're at. So, I guess that's it. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, doesn't cost nothing. Hit that bell, and you'll get notified of this build. All the other builds, the fishing videos, and everything else we're going to do on this channel. And leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this. So I guess that's it. So as always, like and subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Bye.